Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've made a video. So um, I'm just getting home from church and this was just weighing heavy on my mind. I wanted to share it. Um, an experience that my son and I had with um, Pokemon. This is one of many spiritual experiences or attacks that um, I have experienced with my children. Um, you know, I'm very particular about what they play with, what they watch, because I know that, you know, our eyes are a gateway. It's, you know, it's a portal, you know, we have to watch, we have to guard, well, we should guard our eye gate, our mouth gate, you know, those types of things, especially children, you know, because they're still in the learning process and they are very impressionable and I think that's why Satan likes to get them especially early in life but anyway years ago when my oldest son when he was about five years old four or five years old and we were uh, going to a church I was heavy and going to church but I had a spiritual walk too so it wasn't just like oh I'm going to church like we had, I actually had a walk with Christ and it was really strong uh, at that time and I was just really diligent and I was very sensitive to the Spirit of God at that time as well and um, I would, uh, I was very cautious about what he watched, what he played with, you know, especially if it was some new toy on the market. I'm still like that today with my youngest son, but if there's something new on the market, I'm kind of like, what is it about? Why is it so popular? What does it mean? And maybe sometimes I could go a little far, but however, with this particular thing, I knew that it was, it just didn't seem right. You know, Pokemon just didn't seem right, you know, Pocket Monster. And I'm like, why would they call it that, you know? And so for a long time, um, at that time back then, I was a working mom and I had, um, he would, you know, go to daycare. Then he would go to, well, he was going to school at the time, but uh, he would go to daycare, aftercare, and he would spend time in my mom's house because I would still be working. And so I noticed at nighttime, after I would pick him up, he would have these really bad dreams. But it was always like something was attacking him in his sleep. And I was familiar with like the spiritual realm and those kind of demonic attacks. But with this, it was very unique. It was like it just came out of nowhere. Um, I knew that he was called by God at a young age, you know, and I shared that story at some other point. But um, bottom line is I knew something was wrong. And so I kind of shared it with the people of the church I was going, going to at the time. I was like, you know, he's being attacked. Something is wrong, you know. And... Um, and so one of the ministers was like, let's pray about it. Let's go on a fast. Let's see what's going on. And I thank him to this day, you know, that he, um, him and his family, him and his wife and children, they were just so uh, strong for me because I was a young mom. I didn't know what was going on. And so um, we decided to um, go on a fast, pray about it. And like that night, he got woke up again, the same attack. This time he's standing up in the bed and he's physically fighting. And I turned the light on. I'm thinking, oh, if the light is on, then I'll know what it is. And I just, I still didn't know. He still couldn't tell me what it was because he was so young. It just, it was a demonic attack. I knew something was wrong. And so I was coming off the fast and my mom decided to go out of town. Now at this time, um, I was like, you know, okay, well, we'll go to your house since you're going out of town and we'll watch the house or whatever. And, um, and my mom, she wasn't, you know, like most grandmas, they're just like, oh, they want it and they buy it for them. But she, um, at the time I went over there to go watch her house. And so we were watching TV and I said, Hey, go put these dishes in the sink. And he was like, okay. And so the way that the house was set up, the kitchen was open on both sides and you can walk on one side and go on the other side to get into that kitchen space. So he walks on one side and he drops the dishes and he runs back over there. And I'm like, what's wrong? And he's like, nothing. And I'm like, what is it? I said, did you see something? And he was like, yeah. I said, okay, what did you see? And he just, he's like, he just couldn't really describe it. And so I said, okay. So I said, you go to that side, I go to this side. So we, he went on one side of the kitchen, I went on the other side. When I got to the other side, I said, did you see it right here? And he was like, yeah. And so I started looking around and I'm like, what in the world? You know, something's gotta be over here. So I'm looking in the cabinets and stuff. And I realized there is a closet right here 
on my left hand side I said let me look in here so I'm looking in the closet I'm looking for you know comic books at back then you know people still <laughs> read comic books I don't know what they do now and I was looking in the closet and I was like what in the world is going on and so I looked and I lifted it up and this is huge bag of like Pokemon everything the, the Pikachu Pikachu towel uh, comic books or not even comic books but like booklets and uh, trading cards I mean you name it the the toys the whole bit and I was just like oh my gosh this is what it is I just I knew in my spirit that that's what it was that was that was bothering him that was disrupting his spirit and I was like okay so I got the bag and I put everything in there that was out on the ground you know Pokemon but it was in there hiding because you know I, I told my mom you know he can't play with that and so um so I guess that's where she put all the things. And so it didn't, I just put two and two together. You know, it had just came out. That was something that um, maybe she thought he could play with. It was like, oh, it's not hurting anything. And he just plays with it at my house. So it shouldn't be a big deal. But it was a big deal because I knew the spiritual side of it. I knew that it was something that was demonic. And I didn't want, you know, my children exposed to it. So long story short, I get the bag. I tie it up. I said, okay. We're going to go ahead and go to bed, and in the morning, I'm throwing all of this away. And so, oh my gosh, can't believe I'm saying this. So, then we went to bed. And at that time, he slept in the bed with me. And so, we went to bed, and we prayed, and I got the bag, and I put it on the my side of the bed. So, I would remember to get rid of it the next morning when I was going to work and dropping him off to school. And so... Um, I go to bed at night and I mean that night and all of a sudden I started running like a little fever I was feeling like oh something's wrong like something was off in my spirit I'm like why am I feeling like this but I'm in my sleep I can't move or anything and so then I'm trying to open my eyes but I can't and it's this little thing jumping like it had like ponytails I thought it was this little girl that we went to church with at the time her name was Chanel and I was like oh, that looks like Chanel but it was like jumping like this do 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 like back and forth and doing like this it was like cute but it was weird and it was like it was taunting me and so all of a sudden I noticed that that wasn't Chanel that was um, that was Pikachu but it was taunting me because it was jumping like doot doot like I'm being cute you know I'm just a toy and then all of a sudden when it got close the yellow color disappeared and it was just black it was like the black figure of Pikachu and I was like oh no so I knew I was entering into like a spiritual warfare and all of a sudden all of these other um, Pokemon um, figures were jumping up and and but they were like walking and and dancing and kind of prancing in front of me and I was like you know it was like this whole show was being put on in front of me but they were like doing like this with their neck it just it looks weird but that's what they were doing they were taunting me and then they started like speaking in another language and it wasn't like some something that's some familiar like a Spanish or Vietnamese or Mexican you know it wasn't like that it was like a totally different language and um and then they started cursing and um and then the the cartoon form shed and then it was like the demonic form like the demon form and i was like oh my gosh you know what is going on so i started praying and all of a sudden you know i roll over to Corey, and, and now he's up in the bed he's fighting now oh no 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 i'll take that back he's not fighting now he's sleep but he's moving around and i'm like okay Maybe he can feel the same thing I'm feeling. And all of a sudden, I wake up, and I'm, I'm, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm pleading the blood of Jesus. All of a sudden, this black pool, black pool of, like, demons just did like this. And it just fell into the bed. And it starts swimming in the bed like this on the top of the mattress. I mean, not on top of the mattress, on top of the covers. And at the time, the comforter was, like, black, and it had, like, paint on it. It was, like, a funky-looking, like, retro-looking comforter. And they were just swimming all on top of it. That's when my son got up. That's when he got up and he started like pulling and, and fighting like, no, no. And, you know, he was fighting and, you know, we were pleading the blood of Jesus um, over those things. And so that night um, was very traumatic, obviously. I mean, I remember like it was yesterday. And so does he. He remembers that. 
And um, that morning we got up, we prayed, and, and I asked him, I said, do you remember what happened last night? And he's like, yeah, I do. And so we prayed, and I forgot that I put that dumb bag on the side of the bed um, before me before I went to sleep. I should just threw it away right away. And it just lets you know that a lot of these accursed items you need to get out of the house uh, straight away. You know, pay attention to your children. If they say, oh, it's a monster under my bed or I see something, you know, uh, we had the same issue with uh, Beyblades. I know it sounds silly, but, you know, when you are dealing with children or people that are very sensitive to the spirit, they notice those things. And I think that um, to ignore it is to allow your children to build a certain character that you're not going to be pleased with when they become adults because they won't be aware of what to fight and when to fight. They'll just think that anything that's out there that they desire is acceptable in their life. And um, we we see people as adults is like, um, like if you met somebody that's like a, a grown adult, but they watch a lot of like anime or they... Um, I don't know it's like if they are into certain kind of music or certain thing it it it's, it kind of fixes their character to behave a certain way a lot of times they're a lot immature they are um, not responsible or they are short-tempered or they're just kind of on edge all the time it's like if you try to speak to them spiritually about some things um, that's like God given they just don't get it and I understand you know the Bible says the God of this world has blinded them that they can't see these things but I, I do think that those things are a major influence um, and can impact our uh, you know our worldview and how we deal with people so anyway like I said I just got home from church I just wanted to share that it was on my heart for a while and it happened so long ago but I was still like I still want to share my experience. I know it has really nothing to do with the remedy, but maybe it does. <laughs> the remedy was was to get rid of it, burn those things, and get them out of your home, um, whether it be a toy, whether it be a charm of, of some sort. And you know that God is dealing with you on the inside. He's like, I don't want you to have that, or I don't want you to um, accept that gift, you know, from a person that really doesn't like you. But you know, maybe they put something on it you know to bring you down in some sort of way so just be mindful of everything you're bringing into your house uh, this is a short testimony um, hopefully it uh, edified some people that were curious about different toys and things that they have in their home again I have some other stories that um, my children have experienced um, uh, through the years you know my, my boys are they're pretty old now but I'm saying um, it's still relevant because those spirits are still the same and they're just playing the same old tricks to just in a different, you know, come in a different box or a different form. And um, so anyway, um, I just wanted to share that with you. I'm going to go ahead and go to bed and hopefully I'll be having another video for you here pretty soon. It's been a while um, since I've been on here, but I do want to start making um, more videos. I've just been super busy and traveling and and working and the whole bit but um hopefully that edified you and hopefully i'll be seeing you soon uh with another remedy video i actually have some stuff that i've been taking lately that i want to do a review on so just stay tuned for that video and god bless you all